Hello and welcome everybody, I'm Rupa Bavarian and this is Crusader Kings 2. And these, these are weird times, I gotta be honest with you. I am two achievements, two achievements away from getting all achievements for Crusader Kings 2. I cannot believe it that the time of me playing Crusader Kings 2 Iron Man might actually be over. I, I don't want to, of course, you know, say thank you already or, you know, so early, but I really need to thank, I think it needs to be stressed, I need to thank Kagan Hulegu and Kagan Batu of the Golden Horde and of the Ilkhana because they've given me so many of my achievements and I'm sure so many of yours as well, but what I will tell you is there are two achievements that are still open and I can do neither with either of those people. Uh, that is the White Hun and that is Aladdin. We're gonna do Aladdin last, we're going to work on the White Hun starting from now. We don't actually, uh, you know, in a hurry, for example, with the Tibet playthrough, I had to go from 1066 to 1453. A lot of uh, things fell under the table, we're not gonna do that. This is going to be in detail, it's going to be role played, and let's just take a look at it. So, for the White Hunt, we essentially have to recreate the Have to Lead Empire. The uh, actual requirements are a bit weird, I think it's essentially everything from like here to there and like it's just I don't know it doesn't include Sindh I, I don't exactly know why at least according to the Wikipedia page but it doesn't really matter we're going to play Takur Toramana of Mohadavasaka and we are down underneath the Pratihara dynasty and we are going to have a great time now again do keep in mind I don't have to go from 1066 to 1453 meaning we can take a lot more time there you go we're also going to turn off border disputes I never use them I don't want the AI to use them I think that is okay the rest is fine all of this is random this is historical we got enough time I don't want to deal with the Mongols this playthrough. We, we dealt with them long enough last time. Uh, we are in the same region, of course, so I don't really want to mess with any of that nonsense. We're going to have domain size quartered. We're going to have vassal limit quartered. Usually we do halved, but, you know, I thought, why not, right? You got to, sometimes you just got to go. You just got to keep pushing, make some strong vassals, and hope that you don't die. And I think this is it. Let's jump in, and we're going to call this... Pen Ultimate. Because that's what this is. The Pen Ultimate playthrough. Alright, so before we actually take a look at our situation and what we can do here, I will tell you um, that I'm playing with a couple of mods, you may have noticed, I don't know whether <laughs> this looks very different to you, but it certainly does to me. And we also are playing with Patrum Schoolter, the alternative shield set, etc, etc. All of these mods will be in the description, you can check them out right there, I love playing with them, and we're gonna play with them at the very least, you know, for the remaining Ironman playthroughs. Now let's take a look here, we are the Count of... Mohadavasaka, and we are Takur Toramana, the last of the Huna's house uh, that doesn't actually go any further, apparently, but we can trace our heritage, you know, all the way back to the original Huns. Now, here's Mirakula Toramanapuri, and he is also Hindi, he's a son, he's one year old. What, what, what are we? Who are we? Even? We are a fortune builder, we are a Kshatriya, so we are in the cast of warriors and kings, so we are where we belong. We are also a Shaivist, this character follows the Shaivist branch of the Hindu faith, I do not know exactly what that means. We are patient, cynical, arbitrary, and cruel. Our wife is also, you know, oriented towards stewardship, she's a thrifty clerk, an erudite, arbitrary, paranoid, and proud person. We honestly, we're somewhat different, but I think we are united in being very, very arbitrary. We don't really have a code of uh, any sort of morals at the end of the day. We just do things, you know, the way we see fit, and that unifies us, I think. While we know, you know, we might not be ambitious, but we both know sometimes you need to do things just because you need to do them. And I shall educate my dear son, I think, in thrift, because we both are oriented towards that, so that does fit. And now when it comes to focus, uh business might be all right, right? I don't think we're very religious. We are, of course, cynical, so I will definitely not pick the theology focus right here. What about we simply get a bit into business? Sure, let's become rich. Uh, why wouldn't you want to become rich anyway, right? And then I'm going to cheese it a little bit. See, what you need to know is this is a very, very weak position. I'm going to cheese it in the sense that I'm going to say I want to become the king of Gujarat because by doing that, I can then send my chancellor, which is pretty mediocre. But I can send my chancellor over here, and he would get a claim on the kingdom title if we get lucky. That is what I'm interested in. Essentially, the game plan. If you want to play this at home, if you don't have this achievement yet, the game plan essentially boils down to you saying, hey, I need to rise up quickly, I need to rise up fast, and we can do that if we immediately become a king. So, what we need is money, and what we need is a kingdom to claim on this location over here. Now, mind you, this is not a min-max playthrough. I won't fast forward at any point, but I will tell you, I will do some stuff so that this doesn't become a 50 episode series, right? So that is uh, the main goal here. I, I could choose a patron deity, but I don't think he really cares about any of the deities. So let's just unpause, man. There's little preparation here for this fella. You know what? I could give my wife the... Uh, that's my wife. I could give my wife the designated regent position. There you go. Have fun with it. 
Ooh, and interesting, my leash. So we were moved under now the Raja Yota of Maro, and he wants to make me a commander. And look at that, he has a claim on Rashputana, which is a kingdom that doesn't even exist anymore. That's a bit of an odd claim. All right, so he is very weak. My god, 500 troops. Okay, I will become your commander just for the prestige. Although, uh, if there were to be a war, I don't think I would actually serve you. Let me just ask you a question, right? I can't because I'm not a de jure, uh, de jure vessel. I cannot actually try to fabricate a claim on this. He does not hold Go uh, Gojara Mandala, meaning we can't get a claim on that at all. Hmm. Yeah, that's a bit saddening that we're now underneath him, but maybe we can make something happen. We probably can make more happen than, you know, being underneath the king directly, seeing how weak we are. I don't really want increased council power. We're fine. Oh, and there you go. He wants to name me a steward. You know what? I respect that. He's a gluttonous, greedy, craven man. I mean, he must fear us, right? He's 79 years old. He knows his son will soon take over. And he knows that we are at least somewhat competent, still young. And we are, of course, also respected. We got some prestige already. <laughs> Look at this. I mean, god damn. What did he do? How did he lose minus 254 prestige in such a short playtime? We played for what? Two, mon two months? Three months? I can't even tell. Uh, but anyway, what we're gonna do is, I'm going to become a steward, because that makes it so that he won't use me as a commander, and... I'm gonna plot against your son when the, time is, uh, when the time is right. Believe you me, I'm going to do that. What if I told you that all you have been told to believe in is a lie? Yota continues, throwing a cautious glance around us before pulling up his sleeve, revealing a scar in the shape of Kali Purusha's mark. Brahma is a liar. Reject the tyrant deity and let Kali Purusha guide your steps. You truly are a dark tantric then? Can you bring down my enemies? That are everywhere, because I'm a Hun. Uh, we might. If you offer yourself up to Kali Purusha, you will be granted powers Brahma has kept from us humans. Fingering the leather, uh, leather pouch in my pocket, I slowly nod. Oh, and I think you'll enjoy it, he said with a knowing smile. Interesting. We are not lustful. I know what is coming there, of course, but... You know, it's not bad. I mean, we are a pretty bad person. Why must we always put the need of others before our own? Oh, that sounds like him. Arbitrary and cruel. Yeah, it has been some time since Rashkuma Yota was in contact with me. I have been pondering what Brahma would think of me for venturing down this path, but Yota has already offered me more support, uh, support than Brahma ever has. I have begun studying books to the occult, and so far I am finding the views preached at the temple to be narrow-minded at best. You know, at the end of the day, I mean, his dynasty fell from grace, right? Maybe he wants to try out dark magic. I'm greedy now, guys. Oh, what do you look at that? The guy recruiting us here to the Devil Worshippers has passed away. I mean, he was 79 years old, to be fair. I hope that that plotline doesn't end. I think it's just handed over to the leader of the of the cult, but that doesn't matter. And uh, my dear Takuo, my, you know, new liege, his son, if you think I let any vassal of mine support factions conspiring against me without taking action, you are sorely mistaken. If you value your wretched life, you will swear not to form any such faction. It's not worth dying for if there's no afterlife. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I'll admit. Am I the... Am I losing my mind? Did this guy just, like... Does he look like he just aged a hundred years? Didn't he just have like actual colorful hair and then as soon as he turns 50 he's like, Ah, my bones are brittle. Hmm, you want her as a concubine? You know what? Why don't I take her as a concubine? Get out of here. Ah, there you go. This guy appears to be the new leader of this secret cult. We have become aware that your inductor passed away before being able to complete your recruitment. We therefore wish to rectify his oversight and o offer you membership of the cult of Kali Purusha. Glory to the Lord of Kali Yuga. See, the thing about this is, this is pretty... I love this mechanic because it makes it so that it isn't just interrupted, but also they didn't even test me. They are just like, we talked to you like a couple of times. You want in? You know what the answer is? Of course, yes, I'm in, baby. The cult of Kali Purusha worship the demonic aspect of Kali and refuse the shackles of conventional belief as they see no fault in acts committed out of selfishness. Their spirituality is instead centered around personal gain and lustful endeavors, condemning them in the eyes of traditional believers. All right, so, you know, I guess it's just a... For him, it's probably just a tit-for-tat kind of society. You know, it's a lot of people that he can network with, that, you know, he can operate with and maybe... I don't know, get something done, get some alliances, that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't think he actually believes in the magical power until he sees it. But, you know, I'll take what I can. And you know what? Speaking of magical power, I would love the magical power of getting a strong ally. That would be nice. Let's see if I can't find an ally somewhere. I have now, inside of our own realm, found a suitable lady that we can marry. And she's, of course, of the right, uh, right cast. And she is with an as I said, our own realm. Not to mention that those are two counties that I would love to have uh, if we get some inheritance shenanigans going. Our son now is betrothed and that will of course mean that we're gonna get a pretty decent alliance. Not an amazing one, mind you, but a pretty decent alliance for starters. And I cannot believe it. My marshal cheated with my concubine on me. This is high treason and both of you will suffer. My lady, you will first suffer, and she fled. I cannot believe it. She actually fled. And now what about you, my marshal? Wait, why do you hate me so? What's going on here? Attempted murder? Oh yeah, you know. 
And he always in my dungeon. Easy. Can I execute you? You know what? I don't, I'm not executing you. I'm just sacrificing you. Listen, if the society likes it, that's good. You know, it's a bit macabre, of course, but if it helps me rise up in the world, why shouldn't I do it? Shamraya looks dazed as he's dragged to the altar, but you can see dawning compre uh, comprehension on his face as he's tied down. He ignores begging his chance of praise to Kali Purusha, uh, built to a crescendo. Finally, it is time. You swing your blade in an overhead arc, which ends in uh, Shamraja. I can't read the name. Shamraja's. That's the name. Heart. Hail Kali Purusha. There you go, he's gone. And uh, I gotta get rid of this concubine. I think she already doesn't count as a concubine anymore. There you go, beautiful. So, hey, I was betrayed, but at the same time, of course, being exposed for murder. Probably not the best course of action here. Uh, I hope that I can actually get this done. And would you look at that? After successfully sacrificing a man, Takur Jajavardana of Tumana comes to us and says, After this, give me a dwarf. See, the thing is, he's the leader of this society. And we want networking, right? So at the end of the day, I'm gonna go here with a... I, I shall sacrifice a dwarf. I can I can make that happen at some point. You know, lure someone into my court that is a dwarf. Do we have anyone right now? Dwarf, okay. Uh, in diplo range, yes. You're married, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just looking, I'm just looking. <laughs> don't wanna... Don't wanna make them think that I'm gonna do anything to them, right? But he is a loyal servant. Yeah, okay, so none of these can actually be used. We're gonna... We're gonna get to that eventually, I promise you. A dwarf shall be sacrificed. And look at that, here comes the ridiculous part of that society. Mayor Gatamdeva of Jallo was passing by and decided to pay me a surprise visit. He is in a lewd mood and thought we might stage an impromptu, or uh, impromptu orgy in honor of the Vinyakas. Man, we are devilish. My memories of the last uh, few days are dreamlike. There was lots of smoke, a cackling old crone, and a nubile young woman with a long tail that could do all kinds of things. Oh, and there was a loud midget ordering me and Gatamdeva. We, nobody stopped the midget? I need to sacrifice that. My god. Oh, and there was a loud midget ordering me and Gatamdeva into various interesting positions. I never really realized I liked Min that way. I'm lustful. That's quite nice for uh, getting more children. Um, I definitely welcome that. But I'm also thinking, how do we proceed from here? How do I make my way? And yeah, look at that. It actually did increase our thing. Ooh, what do we get here? Tikana of Sarasveta Mandala. So it's just a county claim. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that, but then I'm gonna just keep you here. I don't know if that actually influences. I do not think that having a county claim makes it so that you next will get a duchy or, you know, a kingdom claim. But I will just leave you here in the hopes that this eventually gives me a kingdom tier claim. Having that claim doesn't really hurt me. You know, my liege... What? My liege might push it? Oh, you died. Well, there you go. Uh, my liege might, might push it, so I'm not exactly against it either. And you want to revoke the Tekana of Navasarika because it has the trade post. Absolutely not. Get out of here. You have been presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of your rulership. If you wish to mint new coins for your realm, there is a master of the craft you can hire. Not only will the mintage be exquisite, it will be adorned with a glorious portrait of you. You know what? Sometimes you gotta debase the coins with less precious metals for profits. Absolutely. Ever since your pursuit of wealth began and you started keeping a close eye on both income and expenses, your coffer seems to be filled to the brim more often than not. We are an amazing steward. Just look at this. I love it. How is, by the way, let me just take a look at this. Um, how are you doing? Oh, wow. Here's a vassal limit of seven. Are you kidding me? That is incredible. A domain size of one out of two. Yeah, this actually has a huge impact on how these people play. How are you doing, my friend? Seven out of seven vassals? What? Oh. I don't know whether this is a good effect. West Francia looks nice. The Abbasids do not. <laughs> oh no. What did I do here? The Byzantines, how are you doing? You should be fine, right? Like this is just the, the theme of, oh my god. The, the Byzantines are gonna splinter. Like they're gonna splinter so hard every piece of territory that isn't their, their the, the Euro territory. This is gonna be wild. Uh, Alright, you know what? We've been spending countless hours sketching our plans for different building projects when you suddenly realize how you could display your extraordinary architectural skills. You will build a grand tower that will dwarf everything else in the landscape. This will be glorious. Sure, why not? The tower construction will need a mason to work the stone for both beauty and strength. The question is whom you should hire for this delicate work. Any boy of the streets will do fine, absolutely. Yamashani has been working tirelessly on planning the carving of the stones for the tower. He now approaches you with dark circles on his eyes and petitions you for extra funds, claiming his father is sick and his family needs aid. I already paid you. Get out of here. Before the construction of a building this large can begin, we need to make sure we have enough qu high quality stone. Your steward suggests importing the stone from a reliable trade partner, while it could be beneficial to the region to have access to a nearby squ uh, quarry. If I build a quarry, right, um, local build time modifier goes down. I don't really care for that, I'll be honest with you. I should reuse some old building materials from the castle. Hell yeah. 
I am the most greedy son of a gun you will ever meet. I do not spend money. During the construction of a grand tower in Mora Davasaka, a couple of the workers were killed by a falling granite block as the ropes holding it snapped. People are now demanding stricter security measures as well as a, comp a compensation to the families that lost their husbands and fathers in this tragic accident. I'm already cruel, so like I'm not actually gaining anything. They are absolutely expendable. Get these peasants out of here. Your steward comes to see you one afternoon. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring in exotic goods by setting up a trade route of the foreign realm. This would, of course, require a sizable monetary investment, but the prof uh, potential profits would also be great. Man, they are throwing every single business focus related uh, event right now at us at this very moment. I will never in this playthrough have to do business again, but because we've got, we're gonna have to see it all, or rather, uh, we are going to see it all in this very episode. The time has come to outfit a ship for our trading expedition. The Arbor Master shows you a large ship with a sizable cargo that would be perfect for this job, but it does come at quite a hefty price. Hire a crew of bandits to steal the ship. Hell yeah! Oh, I've never done that. The word has spread that you're planning a trading expedition, and a group of Pujaris have arrived at your court with a request. They're offering temple funds for the journey if you will allow them to come along on the journey. Absolutely not. Get out of here. I'm, I'm always curious to see who we're trading with. Oh, and look at that. We built a boat to go to Transoxiana. Apparently, that is... That is how boats work. Uh, your expedition has finally arrived uh, in the realm of Amy and Jibril. Your steward asks you what gift we shall bring forth as a token of friendship to Amy and Jibril. Um, Jibril? I don't know how to pronounce that. A mighty elephant? You know what? Uh, my courtesy should be enough of a gift. I'm just gonna... Do you like me? Do you dislike me? He pretty much dislikes me. I'm gonna give you an elephant. I don't know. You know. Why not? I, I'm gonna spend one, one time money on it. At dinner, you notice the Emir of the Bajanid Emirates face growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward shoveling his food in with his bare hands. Please excuse him, I'm still trying to teach this barbarian proper manners. Ah, sure. I'm insulting that guy, I don't have a problem with that. The Manichaean faith term, who cares? After long hours of negotiating and discussing possible terms of trade, you and Emir Jibril of the Bajanid Emirates seem to have arrived at a mutual understanding. Nice. While I was at the foreign court, I also spent some time observing and discussing with the courtiers regarding how they organize their administration. It is fascinating how differently they manage things over there. Holy crap. In no time at all, we essentially did everything that the business uh, business focus has to offer and became Midas touched. I love it. With a new trade route set up, you return with the first batch of goods and sell them off for a nice profit. The influx of new wares will also benefit the economy for a long period to come. More money is always needed. Absolutely. I can't believe that we haven't done anything except events. And would you look at that? I had the peasants die. I didn't pay the architect. I took old stones from my castle and yet we did it. The great tower that you began planning so long ago has finally been finished. A tower this tall can be seen from a long way away and people are equally amazed and frightened by the power you have displayed by accomplishing such a grand feat of construction. During the years of work, you have spent your time perfecting your knowledge in the many key aspects of the science of construction. Knowledge that will last centuries. How to steal old rocks from a castle. The tower is also sure to hold back many thousands of enemy soldiers. I am truly a professional builder. Yeah, I think this is fine. We're an architect now, baby. Easy. And look at that. If he wins this, right? I think I just change to being underneath him. He's definitely gonna win it unless I intervene. And honestly, I don't feel like intervening. I could definitely let just like go in and, you know, protect myself via mercenaries, but... If I become a vassal of this guy, we'll be able to actually fabricate uh, fabricate some claims and whatnot. So I'm very, very excited for that. And you fancy me, the Great Pox? Get out of here. Absolutely not. That, the Great Pox is not my type. You heard that right. All right, so we're going to get sieged down here. It's going to be brutal. Uh, I hope that nobody gets in prison. But either way, I would like to be underneath this guy so that I can actually become, you know, uh, the leader of this region. And I think it is time that we already change our focus. Now, we have been incredibly successful when it comes to business, and now I'm thinking, why don't we go with Intrigue? We are a very mysterious, a cruel, a bad man. I have also minted some, you know, uh, debased coins, meaning that I'm almost deceitful. I didn't get the trade, but that's just how it is. What I'm thinking here is, I'm going to go Intrigue, and then we're going to try to push our luck a bit, you know, by potentially taking over the realm of Chavda. Because if we do this, if we take down the Chavda dynasty, we would all of a sudden be a duke, uh, without really doing anything for it, you know? It, it sounds very convenient to me. And there you go, we have changed hands, uh, really at no trouble of our own. Maharaja Vinashkpala of Rajputana accepted Raj Yoga Raja of the Chavdas Raj peace offer. That is quite decent, because now that we are the Yura a part of that realm, I can actually go and attempt to fabricate a claim. Now what I need to consider is the fact that many people here appear to be Jain. I think what we're gonna do here is because we don't really take religion that seriously, right? And we're just gonna fit in with this new, you know, Jane kind of 
uh, moral of the story, I'm going to become, yeah, Jainism, there you go, minus 500 prestige, but we gain 100 karma, I'll take it, we have a lot of prestige, and again, I don't really take it too seriously, oh, and look at that, they're two different schools, what do we have here, Digambara Jain, I do not know what either of these are, are you kidding me, the sky clad and the white clad, I'm gonna go with the sky clad, I have no idea, uh, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna check out whether, okay, god damn it, he still won't aid me, if he were to aid me, man, this would actually seal the deal. We could then go ahead and actually make this happen. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to try and make him like me, because that is an 83% that I could immediately use to fabricate a claim. I am excited for that. Oh, look at that, we actually have a Chinese prince come into the west from China. And he is currently just, you know, walking around, but he has elite troops that are very, very strong. Let's just see where he settles. That should be very exciting to see. The civil war has brought him into the west. Man, so far I have done so little and yet so much simply by existing because now I can actually fabricate claims and whatnot. Hopefully making so that long term I can actually take some stuff over. Let's get this done. Oh well, and you know, as we are committed to this dark side of the world, um, I'm gonna summon a familiar. Loses 500 dark power. What are we going to summon? I feel... Honestly, I'm looking at this and I feel really comfortable with the idea... Yeah, you know what, let's just go with the cat's... Because this will make it so that the cat can act as a spy, I suppose. And uh, we're gonna gain intrigue plus three. That is that is big. What's this up there with the with the great ones? Look at that. I'm still trying. I'm at 105 percent myself, but nobody else wants to support me. It will happen. I swear, it will happen eventually. And my God, you're a failure. Uh, Mihi Rakula, Toramanapuri. You're straight up like horrible. Actually atrocious. Um. I don't want to educate you in learning, that's not right. I'm going to educate the intrigue just because I now have taken, you know, a liking, a focus on that. He is horrible at stewardship, so there you go. How are you doing, my other son? Uh, you're pretty alright. Yeah, I might just change, you know, how these things go. Maybe I j will just change my ass, something like that. We'll see about it. It should be quite alright. Oh man, some days I think I'm going insane. It is probably all in my head, but sometimes I notice people staring at me. When my courtiers whispered, it is impossible to shake the suspicion that it might be about me. Being one of the cult of Kali Purusha always felt worth the risk, but I'm not so sure anymore. How long before I crack under the pressure? Yeah, it's a bit of a weird existence, isn't it? The rise of the Shia, oh god, that is a very potent rise of the Shia, because what this means is that they're rising up in Iraq, which is, you know, of course, the capital of Caliph al-Hadi here. But it also actually means that the Abbasids themselves will be severely weakened. Yeah, look at that. They have double the troops. Damn, we might actually see a proper, you know, Shia Caliphate this time around. Most of the time, they just get banished to non-existent very, very quickly. Oh, God. Though my last act of worship has been some time ago, I can still sense an inhuman touch upon my soul whenever I think about what I did. I've become a changed man. I got so lucky, uh, so unlucky, I mean, with everything, you know, related to fabricating claims. Maybe I just have to reposition you on the actual duchy here. Let's just do that. And now we're possessed as well. I also turned uh, dull during one of the many outings that we've had. Uh, I don't know, this is a bit of a weird one. I really just wish that we had more people to cooperate with here, but that, you know, so far no luck, that really sucks. I want to give you intrigue education, sure. What I'm thinking about, and what might actually be viable, but for this one, right, yeah, you need no eligible males. We don't really, like, it doesn't really do anything for us. We can air designate anyway, so I'm not going to go elective. There's no point in doing that. I don't think that he's going to become my heir, but we'll see about it. And look at that, Mira Kula Turamanapuri is <laughs> a flamboyant schemer. Well, you're quite mediocre and also incredibly stupid. I don't, I don't think you're gonna be my heir, I'll be honest with you. For the moment, I think I'm gonna make him my heir. Yira Samga, I'm not sure that you will be my heir, but for the moment you might. You get the opportunity and we, we'll go from there, eh? Man, look at that, he's quite competent. Uh, I think we might go with stewardship here, but seeing as we're already an expert in that, I really want to avoid going for the business focus, etc, etc. Again, I think I'm just gonna make you a diplomat so that you can talk your way through the plots where I cannot talk my way through the plots, and I will support that murder plot. I'm actually, you know what, now that I think about that, are we in a position in which we can go and potentially murder our liege? Because if we can murder our liege, then we should have an easier time fabricating a claim. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna try here. Make this happen, please. It should be possible, right? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, and we're doing it. Sundari Devi, I don't know why you do it, but if you want to take care of him, if, you know, the mercenaries can ambush him, that would be so gorgeous. 
If there would be a kid on this throne, we would rule on- Oh, come on, the corruption crept upon me so slowly. I did not realize what was happening to me before it was too late. What was first the lightest of limbs has now turned into a hideous deformity. When I rub my sword twisted ankles, I can feel the darkness pulsing just under my skin. Club-footed. Oh boy. You genuinely never see this event. You never see this event. I'm not even kidding. You genuinely just never see this event unless... You know, some realm size stuff is going on. What I'm going to do is... And oh my god, so we did kill him. I didn't get an event yet, it might pop up a bit later, but the realm split. Because he had two children, and those two children of course inherited, you know, Gu uh, Gujara Mandala, and then the Chafta main thing is right here under the Raj of Saurashtra. Now, the way about this, the way we're going to go about this, I'm going to stay inside of this duchy, and I will renew my Pledge of Fealty, sure. You know, it doesn't really hurt anyone, does it? And wait a minute, why can I... Fabricated claim on this. Do I need to let a month pass? Could that be it? it? Doesn't pop up in here. Um, hello. I would like to plot for claim. Thank you. Let's take a look at this. 481%. Are you kidding me? Uh, can I just return to Hinduism? Change religious branches. It doesn't strike me as such. What religion is this? Is this actually? Yeah, it's Jain. So that's a bit of a problem because uh, none of these people will actually support me in my plot to fabricate a claim, but they need to. And I'm no longer gregarious. Yeah, the game is just like giving and taking away traits like crazy. But this is actually decent. This is quite alright because we should, in a, should be in a position where I can actually get a claim. Finally, on some land. So let's just make that happen. To be a giant. I don't think so. But you know what? I think this is it for the moment. Man, playing with quartered everything is wild. I think we're just going to see like a mess of a world. And yeah, look at that. Ali actually established itself. We will see where this goes. I think there will be a lot of independence declarations on death of rulers, uh, hopefully not for me, but we'll see where this goes, eh? I think that this is going to be incredibly wild, but that is the only thing that really could do justice to, you know, the second last, the penultimate playthrough in Iron Man CK2. Uh, with that being said, I will see you tomorrow, but for the moment, I would like to thank the members of the channel that are making videos such as this one possible, namely the Barons, Aaron, Stefan, The Richest T, Snywolf, Emma, Mello, Thomas, Mitchell, MFA, Florian, Dan, The Murcielago, Jacob, Rex Romanorum, Falling Phoenix, and Eterna. Then, of course, also the Counts, Shifty, Wombat, Kazan, and Lachlan, and last but not least, the absolutely beautiful Dukes, Suspicious Duck, Nathan, Jack, Kenneth, Lex, so Goodfield, Eric, and Aiden. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel, and I will see you later. Alligator.